Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to get started with Figma. Figma is one of the major tools that we're going to use throughout our UI and UX design course. So I'm going to teach you how to design with Figma. I'm going to teach you how to plan projects with Figma. There's tons of things you can do with Figma. A lot of things you can do with Figma. As long as you can think it, you can create it with Figma. Figma is one of the UI tools that we use to design products. We have other to uh, tools that are similar to what Figma does. For example, Sketch, Adobe XD, and InVision. These are some of the popular ones in the market. There's some other ones that we can use for prototyping, which is Protopy, and you can use Adobe After Effects. So these are just common tools that you use as a UI and UX designer but now we are going to focus on Figma because Figma gives us everything Figma gives us the design that we want Figma gives us the ability to plan our project and you will get to know how and what to do with Figma it's very easy to use all you just need to do is to sit back and relax and pay attention now all you have to do now is open a new tab Go to Figma.com Figma.com When you get to Figma.com, this is what you see. This is their website. Now, if you already have an account, you log in. If you don't have an account, you just click on Get Started. Once you click on Get Started, it actually gives you room to put your email address and your password. So you just, the registration process is quite simple, but since we already have an account, we are going to log in. Now, this is my login details. I'll just click on it and I will get in. You can also design offline with Figma and this is how to do it. Just go to this place once you're already in. When you finish signing up, this is where you will get to. You will land here and this is just more like your draft on the, some of the recent products that you've designed and some of the tools that you've been working on some of the projects you have been planning everything comes here it's just like your library and now you want to do download figma and design offline i'll show you the advantages or the pros and cons of designing online and offline now all you just need to do is to get the desktop version once you click here it will download the figma then you install it on your desktop so you can actually design without connecting to the internet but if you have access to unlimited internet i would advise you to design online basically why is this all your designs would be saved and everything you are doing will be automatically saved but if you're designing offline, you only get to save your project when you connect back online. So that is how it works with Figma. Now I'm going to introduce some of the tools, some of the components, some of the things that we'll frequently use. Getting started, right? Now you have to go to your drafts, click on drafts. Draft is just a basic, is basically where all the works you've been working on gets to be saved so these are the projects that automatically came with figma this one is just the one i did and these ones are just the default ones that comes with figma so now when you want to create a new design you click on this place and when you want to plan a new project you click on this place i'll teach you guys how to use this platform when you want to plan when you want to ideate when you want to define problem when you want to just design your user flows and user journeys even design your user personas this is what we use but if you want to design the actual prototype actual mock-up and everything this is the place we use if you want to import already existing file figma already existing file you just have to click here and just download it and now there's another amazing thing about figma we have figma community this is figma community where you get to see all the figma projects that has been done and you can download them and reuse those tools let's take a look at it 
this is what it looks like now i'm going to show you inspiration jam section design system visual assets development icons accessibility web mobile wireframes talk about anything that has to do with your product you can actually find similar things here so here is just basically going to give you an idea of what you're already working on you can get icons you can get widgets you can get plugins and use it in figma or anything that you want to do you can just get it on this figma community you can get already built projects project that people has already worked on you can get it and yes some of them are editable why some of them are not editable why some of them are not editable is just because maybe the user or the designer didn't want a full access to it he just wants to give you an inspiration and that's why he just sent um a jpeg file of the project but for some people that want you to reuse their projects they will just share the figma file so all of this is definitely pre-existing figma um tools that you can use to work on your project you can also use it to learn now if you want to search for anything but let's say you want to search for, for banking ui banking app we just click on this and it will give us some banking app that has already been designed by someone else or we can just say shopping shopping app and uh, we'll say shopping app and here is an example of some of the shopping apps that has been designed by some other people all you need to do is when you click here you open the one you want and you just click on get a copy when you click on get a copy what figma does is it will import all the all the projects into your figma file that is what has happened now so if we go back if we go back to our draft you will see this project this um the the file that we just got the copy now this is where it is this is it here so we're going to open it and uh, here are all the design files these are some of the designs now you see you can use it and also design these are just example of what you can design with figma so this is just something that someone did on figma and it's looking pretty much amazing so there are so many things that you can do with Figma. This is just some of the UI that has been designed by this guy. So it's just pretty much very nice. And now you cannot reuse it because this is an image. It's just an image that was framed. And yeah, you cannot reuse it. Sorry about that. I'm going to show you some examples of things that you can uh, projects that you can download and reuse these are just some of the examples of products you can download but you cannot reuse it so but that is not what we have for today i'm just walking you guys through on what figma is being used for. and uh, i'm going to close this because i won't be needing it and uh yeah i'm going to start the teams if you want to work with team team of people that you are you guys are working on a project and uh it probably a team of five and uh, four you can just add them here and figma allows you to add up to three people on the free version but if you want to add more than three people you have to pay for it every month there's a price for it and uh another thing I would show you guys is you can rearrange your library to be on a grid form or on the list form so whichever one that better suits you now I'm going to here you can search your files search your team or even search for people so depending on what you want to search you can see all your deleted files here so any file that you delete comes here in 
probably tomorrow you want to need, you are you want to have access to a file that you mistakenly deleted here you can just come and find it now you can see that this is where you get notification for updates on things that is happening around figure now i'm going to open this this is your workstation where all your project is being mocked up here is where you design everything that you you want to design any mobile app you want to design this is where you design it now this is the frame tool um you will see all the phone versions once you click on the frame tool you will see all the phone version depending on the one you want to use if you are designing for iphone 14 iphone 14 pro max iphone 14 plus iphone 14 pro max iphone 14 iphone 13 pro max iphone 13 or iphone 13 pro because it has the same screen size so these are just all the iphone sizes and here you can design for android small or android big tablet desktop presentation apple watch these are the sizes of apple watch if i want to design for apple watch this is what i will do i'll just click on it and the sizes will come out and that is just how it works so if you select your frame all of this comes out you can just click on phone if i want to design for iphone 14 pro or iphone 14 plus i'll just click on it and the sizes will just come out so everything i'm going to design is basically going to be here okay now let me get you through this digger okay when you get to this frame you can click on 14 pro this is 14 pro now we want to draw our rectangles you can draw we have rectangles you have line you have arrow you have eclipse you have polygon you have star you can also place an image download an image and place it now this is just some of the tools that you always always use when you are designing your mobile app and this is your pen tool your pen tool you can use it to curve curve a layer or a rectangle this is your text tool you can use it to write once you want to write anything you just write and here is where you get access to your components your plugins and your widgets now if you want to search for any component you just search for it here 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 is your hand tool and here is your comment section where you add comments to some of the things that you don't you or you want them to improve please let me give you an example please remove remove this and that's it so it will just show that this is what you've written and if you want to delete it you just come here and uh, mark it as good if it's something that has been resolved now we'll go back to our pick tool you can use it to move your frame around that is it we starting with figma there's more thing that i'm going to show you how to preview your work and how to share your work to other people for them to see what you've been working on now if you want to preview a project that you've done let's preview this frame you just click on this play button and it will open a new tab and that is it so anything i do here would automatically reflect here and let me show you you'll go to pick uh, a rectangle and we just draw a box go back and you see the box that we've drawn that is how figma works you take this box drag it and drag it and you see that it's now this is how it looks on a mobile phone now if you push it up you go back you'll see it 
is now up. So anything you do here definitely reflects to the other side. I will show you guys what to do with this as time goes on. But now these are just some of the properties that controls this rectangle. So anything you do with it is definitely you want to control it here. If I want to curve it, I'll come here and say and give it 30 and it will curve. All the edges would curve. If you check, you will see that it is curved. That is it. And now if you want to also reduce it, yeah, increase it, you can just drag here. Or you reduce it here. Just click here and hold it and drag. That is another way to also improve it. Now, there's another trick if you want to curve here, curve here, but you don't want to curve these two places. Let me bring it down so you see it very well. I'll close, bring it closer, get it like this. Now, I'm going to click here if you don't want, if you don't want to if curve, if you want to curve here, curve here, but you don't want to curve here and here, or you want to curve here and not curve here, or you want to curve here and not curve here. This is what you would do. You just click on this. This is step seven. 37 37 37 so figma actually gives you the sides this one is one and this one is the other side the top right this is the top left this is the down right and this is the down left if i make it zero it will just not be curved that is it so this is how it is because i change this property to zero now if i come to the down right and click and put it as zero it will look like this so if we go to preview button this is what we'll see now this is how to curve layers depending on what you want to do once you're done you just click on this part and just start another thing you can reuse this you can just press ctrl d and you duplicate this Press Ctrl D on your laptop to get this duplicated. Any layers, anything that you want to do. If you want to duplicate the entire frame, we'll just press Ctrl D. So now that we have learned how to curve edges and uncurve edges, we, we can add this to be 10 and uh, make the edges, all of them curved. Now you can see if I get it closer, the edges are curved. Now, if I don't want to curve the edges, I'll just make it zero and it will just be like this. Now we are going to create a button on Figma. So I'll press 10 and uh, here I'll bring it down and close it get it to this level uh, here is where you select your colors you go to the fill color depending on what want to create two button i will duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and we'll have this one on top now this is what we are going to use we're going to change the color of this one to green and we'll change this one the, we'll change this one to yellow and this one green so here we go one select color and change the color we can change play around with the colors and uh, this could be green we just drag it to where the green is and we want the darker shade of green we we'll drag it down that is how to choose colors now we want to change the color of this you select the rectangle come to this view and uh, want to make it yellow you take it to yellow and drag this to where yellow is and that is how to change the bottom color or colors of layers if we want to change the color of this background of our frame we'll come here fill and we can change it to 
any color that we want. We want to make it black, you want to make it red, you want to make it blue, you want to make it pink, you want to make it green, you want to make it orange. So depending, orange, this is not a color of orange, this is orange thing, yeah. So uh, depending on the color you want to make it and that is how to change colors using Figma. But now I just want to make it white. I'll change it to white. Now there's another interesting thing to do on this layer. We want to blend two colors in one rectangle. This is how we do it. You open your color, your fill, then go to solid, change it to linear, and it will be two colors. Now we're going to select this and we change it to the darker shade of um, yellow and get it here. Then change it to this place and this remains what it is. And uh, you can change the direction can change it to this way you can change it to this way depending on which way you want the color to go so that is all about what you can get started with in Figma and how to start using Figma to create enticing mockups and fantastic mockups. As we progress forward, I will also teach you guys how to make some user-centered designs. Some of the do's and don'ts on Figma. But on our next module, we are going to talk more on what you can do with Figma. So stay tuned.